As much as we have so much love for each other, I also cannot let my life be completely like ruined by it. I'm not gonna be like legally impacted by her choices. What does your family think about the divorce? How does your secret lover feel about the divorce? And are you still together? Who will have custody of the pets? When are you moving out? Have you filed for a divorce yet? Did you leave Eileen because you got your citizenship? Hi, sweeties! Welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, me and my wife are getting divorced and uh, you have been sending me a lot of questions about it. So today I'm gonna be answering some of your divorce related questions. It's very sad, but it's real life and I'd rather talk about real life than be here just posting happy things and giving the impression that my life is perfect instead of talking about what I'm actually going through because everybody's going through something, right? So grab your popcorn, grab your drinks. I have some Diet Fanta. <laughs> So before we get chatting, please subscribe and activate the notifications. Please follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily vlogs and give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Anyway, I don't really, again, I don't really know how to start this video because it's such a weird topic and it's so sensitive and sad. So I'm just gonna start with some of the things that I wrote down that you have been asking me. So the first thing is how have the two of you been feeling lately? Obviously this is not the happiest we've been that goes without saying, right? I don't think anybody is like jumping for joy when they're getting divorced. So obviously it's tough but I think considering we are doing all right and in some ways it's a little bit of a relief, like in some ways I feel better because I have been going back and forth thinking about this for a long time, like should I get divorced, should I not, should I try harder or should I just let this go and uh, I've been stuck in my head like this for so long, like wondering if I should move forward or not and that was so damaging in so many ways, like to myself and to Eileen. It's like I was stuck in limbo for so long and now in hindsight, knowing what I know, I should have made this decision ages ago. I think it would have saved a lot of a, a lot of heartache, but everybody is wise in hindsight, right? In that sense, although it's obviously really sad, it's a bit of a relief to at least like I know what I'm doing, right? Like at least I made a decision and that's not killing me inside anymore. At least I know that, you know, that's sad, but it happened and now I just have to heal. And I know what I'm healing from. It's not like just being stuck. Yeah, that's why I felt like I felt trapped and stuck for so long. Okay, so the next question is, who will have custody of the pets? I like how you know that this is a big deal for us. <laughs> Brittany and Beverly are our children, so that was like a major, major thing for us to decide about because we love them both so much and they are really both attached to both of us. How many times did I say both? We are gonna co-parent. That's the best solution, I think, for the four of us. Another thing that people have been asking a lot is when are you moving out? And um, not just yet, but pretty soon we're still figuring out the logistics of that. I'm still technically home, but I haven't been spending a whole lot of time here and that has been happening gradually. I think I've been spending less and less and less time here. But for the moment I am gonna go abroad just to heal, get my shit together, decide exactly what I'm doing with my life, where I'm going. <laughs> so I am gonna first go to Atlanta, Georgia. That was already booked before because um, I'm going there for a movie premiere and uh, to film a music video and do a like a meet and greet type of thing. So that was already planned but that came at a great time actually because I'm gonna be staying with my friends for a bit so that will be very nice and healing and then after that that I am going to Brazil to be with my mom for at least a month and uh, that's gonna be very very healing it's gonna be great to be with family so that's all I have planned at the moment and that's good enough <laughs> I'm taking it one day at a time yeah I've seen a few questions like this too of like 
people who have been very upset that we're breaking up saying is there any chance you will get back together i don't want to be like a killjoy but there's no chance it took me really really long to make this decision like way too long but usually when i make a decision especially after having thought about it for so long i make it for life so yeah we're never getting back together <laughs> like that Taylor Swift song. We've forgiven each other for all the pain we've caused each other and that's great, but not enough to get back together, I think, because we know too much about each other and I know that I don't want to be put through certain situations again, like ever again in my life by anyone. So yeah, as much as we have so much love for each other, I also cannot let my life be completely like ruined by it, you know, so I that's why I, I, I'm really hoping that being friends is gonna be the perfect solution because we'll still have each other in our lives, but I'm not gonna be like legally impacted by her choices, you know. Oh, it's so sad that the world works like this because when I was younger and when I first got married I always thought that love was all that mattered, right? If you love this person and this person loves you, that's it, there are not gonna be any problems, we're gonna be together forever. That's probably a bit naive, but that's how I thought. And obviously, that's not how it works. Sometimes there are other things that are very important and get in the way. Have you filed for a divorce yet? How long does it take? And other questions about like the specifics of actually getting divorced on paper. As of today, we haven't filed yet, I'm just waiting to hear back from my lawyer. But probably when you watch this video, we will have filed. I'll keep you updated anyway. So we haven't yet, but we will very soon. And the way it works, at least here in the UK, because that's where we're mostly based and uh, that's where we got married, so we're getting divorced here in the UK. You can file for divorce online, which is a little bit, a little bit mind blowing, isn't it? Like, it sounds a little bit cold. Like, I thought you would have to go to a room together and like cry and uh, no, you can file for divorce online. And basically, one person has to file and then the other has to accept it like via email. Crazy, isn't it? I don't know what it's like in other countries, but, but that's actually good because I think it saves a lot of heartache. And it takes like just under a year. Uh, it's, it's a long time, isn't it? I didn't know any of this before, but uh, there's a bit of like a waiting period uh, in case anyone changes their mind. So you like file and then you have to wait and then you do something else again. I don't know exactly in details. I started looking at it, but I don't know exactly step by step, but it takes a while. Oh, okay. Now this one, I wrote it down just to clear up the uh, rumors, but it's not a serious question. It's more like a hate comment. And uh, someone said, did you leave Eileen because you got your citizenship? Now, this has been a rumor that has started since even before we got married, just because we have an age difference and I'm from Brazil and she's American. So, let me tell you in detail what, <laughs> what the situation is with that. Do you know how many visas slash green cards slash citizenships I got because of my marriage? Zero. <laughs> yeah, I am actually a triple citizen. That's like being a dual citizen, but with three citizenships instead of two. And none of them have anything to do with Eileen. My first one is Brazilian, and that's because I was born in Brazil. My second one is Portuguese, and that's because my dad's side of the family was Portuguese. So before I even moved to the UK, I got my Portuguese passport, and that's how I moved to the UK in the first place, because before Brexit, people from the European Union could live in the UK. And uh, after so many years of living in the UK, you are allowed to apply for British citizenship, so that's what I did about two years ago, three years ago. I think I applied three years ago and got it two years ago. So I've also got a British uh, passport. And for America, I actually don't have a green card. What I have is a work visa, which is just fine for me because I move back and forth between the UK and the US. I pretty much just go there either for fun or if I have a work opportunity, so it's fine. And there I got through work, obviously, because a work visa, so also has nothing to do with my marriage to Eileen. And by the way, Eileen is not a UK citizen, so my British citizenship has, has nothing to do with Eileen either. Uh, she's an Irish citizen, 
which is not part of the UK, only Northern Ireland is. So actually she could have gotten British citizenship through me, but she didn't because she did, doesn't need to with the Irish one. So it's a whole lot of citizenships, right? But basically, no, I did not get any kind of visa or anything like that through my marriage. At this point, I think most people know I did not get any money through my marriage. I just happened to be attracted to older people. And some of you might find it weird or not understand, and that's fine, but that's just who I am. Like, I always gravitate towards older people and I've always been like this. And just, there's nothing wrong with having a type. I'm sorry. I'm a consenting adult and uh, give me a break. If after everything I said along the years and after five years of marriage, if you still don't believe I loved that woman <laughs> and was heartbroken over it, I don't know what else to say. Okay, the next question is a polemic one again. <laughs> How does your secret lover feel about the divorce and are you still together? I have quite a lot to say about our polyamorous era. Although polyamory can be a beautiful thing and it can work perfectly for some people, in our case specifically we were not doing it for the right reasons. We were trying to save the marriage and I've spoken about it before and now in hindsight it was obviously a bad idea because it didn't save the marriage, obviously it just extended our suffering and uh, it only made us sort of embarrass ourselves online a bit and get some hate but like i said everybody is wise in hindsight by the way if you were wondering our divorce had nothing to do with the polyamorous stage or with my secret lover or anything like that. It had everything to do with the things that happened before that got us to that in the first place. But do I regret it? Yes, I should have ended the marriage sooner, waited a bit like a normal person and then after I had finished healing gotten into something new. Uh, but now it's too late, right? <laughs> okay, so it's done. What's done is done. But thankfully I have been very upfront with both Eileen and my secret lover. Gotta stop calling him that <laughs> poor thing. Neither of them are upset with me about it, so it's all good. Uh, so yes, me and him are still together. And um, what does he think about the divorce? While he knew exactly where I stood and he never like told me to get divorced, he never said anything bad about Eileen to me, never pressured me, anything like that. He was he's super, super open-minded, but he knew that I was upset and that I wasn't in a healthy place. So he was happy for me and he did support my decision to get divorced. And I think maybe deep down, I don't know if he was a little jealous, but <laughs> he never said anything like that to me. But uh, he seems quite happy that I'm getting divorced. And if anything, that was not the reason why, but if anything, having this other relationship made me realize what I wanted a relationship to be like, like what I wanted to be treated like and uh, that kind of thing. So in that sense, maybe it did like open my eyes a little bit. I became a little more distant to my wife and um, the distance made me see things a little more clearly too. So in that sense, it helped with my decision, but it wasn't like because of that. Okay, the next question is, what does your family think about the divorce? Um, actually, the only person I've spoken about the divorce with was my mom. She basically said to me, it's about time because she could tell that neither of us was happy. So yeah, she definitely approves and thinks I should have done it sooner. And I don't know what the rest of my family thinks, but I'm sure it's probably the same. Like, I'm sure like they've either seen my video by now or my mom told them. Uh, I'm sure I'll be able to talk to them properly when I get to Brazil. But me and my mom are like super, super close. We talk, if not every day, every other day, you know. Um, so she definitely approves. Also, some people were saying, like, after all this time, what, would a, blah, 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 what was, like, the cutoff point that made you want to go ahead with this? Like, was there, like, a straw that broke the camel's back? Like, what happened? I think what actually made me get to that conclusion is the fact that I've been a lot mentally healthier lately. Since I started taking my depression medication a few months ago, I have been feeling a lot more put together. Like, before, I used to think that if I took this step, my world would crumble and I just couldn't take it emotionally. And now I feel prepared 
to do it, you know, I feel like although it's sad, I can go through it and I'm not gonna crumble. I can still go on with life. Before I just didn't feel like I could possibly do it. Oh, this has been so nice. It's, it's just so nice to talk to you and uh, put it all out there. It's, uh, oh, it's like letting so much weight like leave me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's great. Thank you so much for listening. I... Yeah, I don't know, don't, don't know what to say. <laughs> it is, it's such an awkward subject. But thank you so much for being here with me through everything, ups and downs, marriage, divorce, and thank you. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching and have a very, very lovely day. Mwah.